Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi. If you're new here, I would like it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel as it would encourage me to make more such helpful videos for you. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and you can also find me on Instagram. When I talk about typographical illustrations, I'm not talking about the complex designs that graphic designers create. And I'm also not talking about those cheesy special effects that PowerPoint offers. Please do not use them. Suppose we have a simple line of text like this. We can probably break it into two parts. We can separate them into numbers and the three words. And if we can create a focus point either from the three words or the number, and in this case, it is better with a number. The result it creates is much more readable as it is much more attractive. If you remember the topic about contrast, you will understand why this difference attracts attention and improves readability. Now, let's consider an example of a company and its annual goals. And I notice that a presentation like this shouldn't have slides that are so bright and colorful. In this case, Instead of using those colors in the text box, we can actually take those numbers and use them as bullet points. And what if we can create focus points with the text and for the last point, we don't have any numbers and we can use the words and try to make something around them. We can improve the composition a little and make something more complex with those gaps. Moving on to a different example, let us try to make the slide less complex. First, let's remove the background and even the background in the header. Let's make the lines thinner and remove those bright boxes. Actually, let's make it more clean and remove all the boxes and all of these lines. And now we have arrived to a situation where there is nothing that we need to delete. In some presentations, you might want to delete some part of the text, but here we will not delete anything and still try to make it look better. Now let's change the typography and then let us use simple grid lines to arrange the points on the slide. After removing the grid lines, we can see that the first column is a little narrow than the rest of the columns. So what we can do is we can replace the first word that is assistance to something which is very close to the same meaning, like help, and save some space for us. Now, we can start creating focus points, and we can use numbers here to guide the eye. And we can add some geometric shapes to the numbers and improve the situation. The final difference looks much more professional and easier to view. It is said that web design is 95% typography and I think the same applies to slide design. In the upcoming videos, we will be talking about pictures and vector images in detail and how they make a difference. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any related videos from this series.